All right, so Dan right now is tuning the pre-selector. Scott RSW and me have used a different method in the past. Um, it worked, but looking at the service monitor, it looked like it was a little bit off. Um, we had to make some frequency adjustments anyways. Oh, 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 that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, we got like uh, 1.7 dB and I haven't normalized, so it's probably less than that. It's probably under dB a loss now. And yep. So this is the pre-selector for the Quantar. The receiver just comes right out of the unit, connect in, boom. And it kind of helps cut down on extra junk. Yep. So we're gonna rack this thing back up into the Quantar and then we will test it using the old method to see where it would fall. If, if Yesu and ICOM repeaters had a a cast for six pole three or five pole filter like this like this be no problems filter. but they don't they're just broad banded no filtering so <coughs> this is make this is what makes it professional so we're gonna throw it back into this slot here and then we'll test it out with the service monitor which we have over here and uh, kind of see where it falls using the old school method. So we're doing a received level sensitivity check on a Motorola Quantar. Um, we have a signal generator here. Uh, we have it on our received frequency, which is 440375. <clears throat> we have our PL tone uh, being deviated at 400 hertz, which is a little high, but that's to, just a test to ensure the uh, PL tone decoder does open. And then we have a test tone of 440 Hertz and that's deviating at four kilohertz, which is a almost full deviation for regular two way FM in the, in the hand band. Right now, the signal here is set at uh, 132 dBm, negative 132. And as we increase the level, we we'll should hear the squelch uh, open on the quantar. There it is. 419 dBm receive sensitivity. Now that is the receiver uh, naked. It's not going through the duplexers. So once we add the loss from the duplexers in, um, that'll that uh, sensitivity will go down. Um, and then we're gonna have to uh, get the transmitter keyed up and see if there's any desense. It should not, the sensitivity should not go down when the transmitter is on. If it does, that means uh, the transmitter is uh, reducing the sensitivity of the receiver. So we'll find out, stay tuned. All right, so we rearranged our cabling and the Quantar is now running directly into the service monitor via the duplexer. So we're gonna get how it looks on the whole, the whole system, how it will be in the real world. We're at, what are we at? Minus 120. There it is. So if I, uh, if I do the access disable here, Is disabled. So that turns the transmitter off. Let's see if it makes a difference. Not really. Okay, let me turn that. Here, hold on. Let me go. Let me, before you react, yeah, right? Let me just get it. Yeah, just. All right, right there. Yeah, so yeah, I think 119 is going to be. Let me turn the transmitter on. Okay. So if we did everything right, this should stay. All right, so there's a little, uh-oh. Okay, there's a DB or two maybe of descents, but that's still pretty good. Here, bring it up to, Neg uh, 115, pretty good. 